All right, good morning, everybody. March 28th, it's Thursday morning, uh, about 9 a.m. Um, I'm very guilty of always putting on videos after the fact of something. <coughs> Unless, of course, it's bailing hay, raking hay, or anything like that where you can have a hand free. Um, I thought this was a good opportunity to show you um, the problem that I had the other day. The two videos, well, the first video that I posted this morning that was from last night, I explained to you the problem here in the spring. Um, it's a problem in general and it has to be fixed. I'm, I've had it, that's it, I'm done. Um, the biggest problem in the spring is some water buildup. Now some of you are probably saying, well, Ben, why didn't, you, why didn't you pump that out? Folks, that's a collection of water throughout the entire system of the barn. As you can see, there's not hardly any fluids in here. That's just a collection that gets to here. I literally left that alone for 45 seconds to tend to the drop off into the manure, kind of clean up the paddles as they come. And uh, this is the product of leaving this alone. You have to manage both areas. And um, I looked around the corner, because you have to go on the other side of the manure spreader to properly clean off the paddles as they come out. And I seen the buildup started here. So I was able to run in here, which would have made a real nice video to uh, shut off the system before another disaster and a break in links and paddles. So what does this mean? It means I've had enough. <clears throat> what does this mean? Um, I spoke a couple few videos ago about how I'm going to abide, how I would like to abide by this barn um, with pens and raising some animals, especially when it comes to the seed stock program um, in a minor fashion that I want to start. Um, that means that has to be redone. That's it. A, a, a guy cannot, you can't always count on two hands being out here. You, you can't do it. So if things go well and I see fit, um, let's just cut the baloney here financially, this entire setup right here is going to be replaced this fall. Everything from the wall outside has to be new if i do want to renew excuse me if i want to use this barn and have it workable obviously there's going to be manure it needs to be rid of this is still a good system but this is shot it's had it the upstairs the motor and everything is still good uh, all this we're going to call it all the steel has to go and has to be replaced the other part here is this needs to be properly boxed in. Uh, some more crete needs to come out of there up on top. And it needs a proper, I'm going to call it a steel box ordeal. <clears throat> I don't have all my words here, but this cannot continue. Um, <laughs> I did that without swearing. As you'll see here, there's a little bit of a difference. These are the paddles um, that gratefully the neighbor farmer, <clears throat> my good buddy, uh, Matt Jarosh, was able to bring over. They're a hell of a lot different from ours, but it doesn't matter. Um, the links are the same, and you can't have too big of a stretch without a paddle. And as you can see... Uh, take that one for example. That's pretty nerfed up. That needs to be uh, that needs to be replaced, and I'm going to have to take a good look. But there's probably 10, 15, 20 of them that can be replaced, including some links that are really uh, withering away. But um, this barn cleaner is worth its weight in gold, especially to continue operating this farm inside the barn which uh, I believe I have to do. It's worth, it's hardly worth anything, but it's worth so much. You make that make sense. <clears throat> well, to keep operating in here, there, you know, there needs to be some upkeep and some maintenance. One of the biggest things here is, of course, the barn cleaner. So,
I wanted to take a little break here from shoveling out that manure, pitchforking it out piece by piece. Took a little break so I didn't throw the pitchfork. Kind of show you what's going on here. And that is the problem. It's a problem nonetheless with buildup, but in the springtime when there's water building up as well, it makes it a thousand times worse. So just kind of giving you guys a picture of what I was talking about uh, on a previous video. That is what happens. So um, very quite simply, now all I need to do is just keep pitchforking that out so it breaks free and it's loose. And I'm going to have to mind my business here steadily <clears throat> and not worry about making sure everything is 100% clean coming out. That that's not gonna that that doesn't matter anymore. So anyway, hope you folks are having a good morning, and uh, we're gonna talk to you sooner and later. <laughs>